couple of weeks ago he was in a D league, you know. So um, now he's he saved our season. If I told you right now that you were called up and they had to sign for the rest of the year, what would go through your mind? How do you react? How do you feel? I would be ecstatic. I mean, I, I I really would be stunned. I have a dream. I figured the D league would help me out in that. My style of play is get a lot of shots up from the three. This is Troy Daniels for three, and he hits it. Guy is amazing. When you have the hot hand, you just want to get a shot up. This is Daniels for three and drops it in. Oh, man, Daniels. Not only deep threes, but contested threes. Daniels hitting a deep one with contact. This experience has been great. You know, being in the D League, even, even starting in the D League and getting a call up and, you know, signing for the rest of the year with the Rockets has been great for me because I've done some things that I, I probably didn't even know I can do at this time. Daniels, a surprise entry into the game. The rookie from VCU who set the D League record for most threes in a season this year. He can flat out shoot. There's about a nine second difference now, shot clock and game clock. Lost the ball. Williams lost it. Lynn picks it up. Lynn out to Daniels. Daniels for three. It's good. The rookie knocks down the three with 11 seconds remaining. What an unlikely hero here for Houston if they can hold on and win. I don't even know if they all know his name yet. <laughs> but played, they love the result. He only played 75 minutes all season. And that will do it. The Houston Rockets get the huge victory in overtime. And how about the hugs for Troy Daniels, who spent almost the entire season in the D-League. Never forget where I came from. D-League prepared me for this moment. You know, that's plain and simple. So it's just great to go out there and hit a game winner.